my, this is my fear is that people are going to see this and think, oh, I'm going to go out, I should go out and do this test. And the comment is from Brandon Clifford. This seems, he says, this seems like quite the topic. Never, ever, never even knew this was a thing being a soil solvita test and relating it to nitrogen and the needs of nitrogen. It's not a thing in turf grass. Let me be absolutely clear. Okay. <laughs> Don't run out and do the, the, the reason I'm showing these tests and going over these tests right now is to cut off, cut it off before it gets started. Okay. There may be, um, ample evidence a year from now, a day from now, tomorrow, there may be a whole flood of evidence come out and, or maybe 10 years from now. At some, at some point we find that these, these tests are very useful for turf grass management, but not now, not on April 1st, 2025. So please do not go out and, and buy these tests and start using these Solvita tests and the Haney test and the soil health test and start running all these things thinking you're going to develop a more efficient turf management program or nutrient program because it's probably not going to happen. There's so many problems with this system being soil health and carbon dioxide burst technology and labile ammonium nitrogen technology and all the, all the, all these other tests that they're doing, there's so many, so much variability and so many problems with them. And there's essentially no correlation between those data and turf grass response to applied nitrogen that it, it's not useful right now at all. So please don't go starting to use these tests and then starting to fidget with your nitrogen applications up and down. Because if you've man, if you're, if you're following best management practices and you're applying nitrogen best management practice ranges, and more specifically, if you've adjusted your nitrogen rate up a little bit to meet your nutrient or your turf grass response needs or adjusted it down a little bit and you find you fine tuned the amount of nitrogen that you need, then you don't need any of these tests, even if they were 100% accurate. Because this test is going to measure the amount of labile nitrogen in the soil and then provide some prediction as to how much nitrogen you should apply. But if you fine tuned the amount of in that you need, that does include not only the nitrogen that you apply, but also what was already soluble in the soil or being mineralized from organic matter in the soil. So you don't need this stuff if you've already calibrated your nitrogen at your location. There's not a test right now that we can use to help manage nitrogen applications in turf grasses. Not yet. I mean, there's not a good one. There's not a valid one. <laughs>